Welcome back to Swazzle Puppet Studio. I'm Sean. And I'm Patrick. In today's episode, we're going to teach you how to trace and cut out your foam petals. Let's get started. I'm going to trace this tracing paper shape onto this tag board. Tag board is a really nice material for patterning. It's good and sturdy. Before I trace it, I'm going to cut in some registration marks. These will become very important when it comes to creating our foam shape. So I'm going to fold it back on those lines. And you're going to cut a registration mark. If you fold it like this, you can just cut it once and it should line up. I'm just cutting a little triangle of material out here. And I cut through all layers. So that will be a registration mark that I will trace onto my tag board. So now we have a leaf that's a little more durable than the one that we had before. Every time we end up making a new round leaf pattern, that's a new size that we haven't used before, we will save it or copy it. This one I label 3.5. In this envelope, we have copies of the different sizes we've made. This will give us a diameter that's 6.5, 10 inches, 4.5, 4.75, 6 inches. So we keep all these because as we build a, a library, it just makes the building process a little faster from the beginning. Okay, so I'm gonna trace six of these petals. I'm using a black pen. If this were a final puppet, I would use a color that's uh, more invisible, but this is just gonna be for a mock-up. All we're doing right now is building enough shapes to create our final patterns. This is not our final pattern. Make sure you get those registration marks. I like to mark the top of the dot just to be consistent. When you cut foam, you want to cut with a blade. Scissors are not great for cutting foam. One of the benefits of this foam is it compresses, which is great for performance. If you cut with scissors, it compresses the cells and you end up with a slice that is really asymmetrical. It kind of creates a canyon in your foam. You really want two flat surfaces that you can glue next to. So that's why we're gonna cut with blade. The first thing I'm gonna do is just get some of this excess material out of here. When I cut my foam, I'm always gonna cut on the same side of every line. I'm gonna cut this leaf on the right side. Like so. Try to keep your blade as up and down as possible. Now when it comes time to cut this part of the leaf, what I'm not going to do is cut like this because there's always slight variations and angles. Everyone's gonna hold their blade a specific way. So you want it to be held the same way on every place you cut. Instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my foam and I'm gonna rotate it around. So once again, I'm cutting on the right side of this shape. So once again, drawing my blade like this along the line as up and down as possible. So let me demonstrate the next leaf. Once again, working on the right hand side, like so. And then flip it around and cut on the right hand side again. You wanna be careful every step of the way. Slow and steady, just like the tortoise. For these next petals, I'm gonna show you how to cut them out on the bandsaw. Once again, follow all safety procedures, precautions, wear safety gear, be safe. 
Sometimes when you're using a bandsaw, the foam is a very lightweight material. It could catch in the blade. When that happens, step aside, hit the stop button, turn it off, let the blade stop completely, and then remove the piece of foam. Never reach towards the blade when it's on because that's extremely dangerous. The nice thing about using a bandsaw is you're guaranteed for each slice to be straight up and down. So I'm gonna cut my foam pieces out. petals are cut out. Your foam petals have been traced and cut out. Next week, we'll show you how to glue them together so you can make your sphere. Don't forget to like and subscribe and don't miss a single step. <laughs>